Greetings everyone. So today's video will be about how to install the new OKCash Wallet 4.0.0.3. So first of all, we're going to go to okcash.co and scroll down to tab to desktop and choose Ubuntu 14. Once that done, you can choose either uh, Easy Builder or Linux 64. You can choose Easy Builder for this tutorial. Alright, so the Easy the Easy Builder is actually just a text file that tells you what to do. So just open a text file, minimize it, then just follow these steps. So you just do sudo apt install dos to unix. Then it's just copy this link right here, well this line right here copy paste enter now I just downloaded the script file alright, just copy this line here and now I just change the permission for the file Then you can execute the file from here. So just dot so just dot slash OK tab and enter. And from here we just let it go, the scripts execute itself, downloads everything it needs, and I'll be back when it's done. Welcome back everyone. So once the script is done downloading and installing everything, all it can do is go to slash home your username and OK underscore apps or what you can do is just cd wiggle slash OK underscore apps once you're here do ls and you want to execute this one first so what you do is dot slash OK tab d enter then it tells you you need to add well you need to set the RPC password and username in the dot cache okcache.com file so I can just copy these two lines here copy and then we go here so I do this wiggle dot okcache ls so we can see the dot uh, com file is not set yet so what we can do is um, nano Okay, cache.conf. This creates the okcache.conf okay file and it's an editor. So we can just do paste. Once it's done, as shown here, we do control X. Do you want to save? Yes. Do you want to write the name? Yes. So enter. Alright. Now the .conf file is here, so we can start the okcache.conf. Okay uh, the OKCash okay uh, wallet. So again, CD wiggle, OK apps, execute, OK cash. Uh, the OK cash D is for daemon, which is the background, uh, the background wallet, and the OK cash is for the GUI wallet. So from here. You have your wallet, your address is here, you have your peers connecting, your syncing, and you, well, you know the wallet. You can export the wallet as much as you want. Alright. For, uh, for fast syncing, it is the same as the previous video. I'll leave you a link in the description below and hope you enjoy.